Okie, Kenneth Flamin here to tell you a little bit about double ball, a traditional game played by women. I find this very important to Native American history and tradition. It is a game played by many cultures. Sioux in particular played this and it's very interesting to see how all of this relates to Native American studies. Uh, I have some of the materials that are needed to play the game. I have the double ball here which looks like this. It's a piece of leather with uh, sand inside of it and it's not totally filled so it can move and, and whatnot and it's sewed together and it kind of has a dog bone shape to it. Um, I also have a stick, one that we use for the game, and another stick, and I want to talk about some of the differences in the stick. If you can see, the end of my stick looks a little curved there, which helps us to pick the ball up and to serve it. And so that's something that we have to think about as educators is having participants create their own sticks potentially in maybe another class and finding them and the sticks that will work better and if we use different kinds of wood and and different types that there's different kinds of hardness and thickness um, generally we want a, about a 3 8 to a half inch in diameter and roughly two two and a half feet or so depending on your students you don't want to give too long of a stick to get a little better run at making it not as safe um, the field size and dimensions do vary I have behind me a setup of a potential goal post that we can use and I use the tree right next to it to to, to make this and so what we're going to want to do is is move our double ball through the bottom or over the top or hang it onto the goal post for points um, adapting the point values to the abilities of the children playing is important as your younger children aren't going to be able to necessarily throw the double ball over the goal posts and an easier point would be through the bottom but hanging it is generally a three point goal I think that if you know the ability of your children that are going to be playing the game you'll adjust the point values respectively to their size. I also want to talk a little more about how these connections of arts and crafts come into play with the game that making your stick is important and a time to, to do that would be in art or in, in a class where you're outside and you can find a different stick and you can pick your own special stick with the right kind of curve and length that you want want to use another aspect is the ball itself that is made from hide and the neck part of the animal is generally the thickest and probably the best to use if you plan on making the materials yourself I will be available to make the the balls for different people that ask for what we need and questions. Um, I'll provide my email so you can get a hold of me if you'd like. But high tanning isn't really easy in and of itself. And so as a, as a craft to be honed, somebody could use use maybe not their best hide to make this game in the ball that will handle the elements because it's going to be thrown around and in the dirt and all of that and you know collecting sand for it to, to make it make the weight to it 
is, is important and knowing how to sew and put it all together is, is very important um, we also want to ask different questions with the challenging aspects of the game and w what is what is the game resemble for students that are playing it that how, how can we relate this to other sports games and you know how is this game important for women and their abilities in the tribe as far as being able to provide and, and being physically fit and brave and playing the game is something we want to address as far as social roles and how you go about interacting in the game. So things that we want to keep in mind are rules as far as maybe a three-step rule to keep people from running that there are faster kids than others and having a, a unlimited step rule or a no step rule where if you have the ball you can't move and you gotta serve it or pass it on to another player these are just little adaptations that I've learned through my process of playing and experiencing the game but the diverse nature of this sport is very important to social interactions I've seen problems with people getting too into the game but you know we as educators we can figure out things that will work and adapt those to what what our students are capable of and so when we when we hang our our our, our ball or create our goal posts we we, we can hang it up on here and, and get our points and it doesn't necessarily have to be a fancy tripod or bipod hooked to a to a tree or anything but something that has a crossbar that we can use to implement the game and you know if if you want there's there's other types of goal posts like you can make it out of PVC piping and put those and glue them together that that they're able to be made easily and stored for you know later use and you can adjust the sizes on those for children and I think that the importance is is that we can connect this to lifelong ideas of diversity in educational aspects that you can see in other cultures abilities and what they're doing and relate that to the rest of your life as well as you know being able to make your own materials and you know have have that diverse understanding with with the people around us and that we can work together to make this a fun game and something that everybody can experience and maybe play a little bit of. Thank you for your time and contact me if you need any more guidance or information on the, the game of Double Wall. Thanks.